Hello everyone. Today is Thursday, January 31st. It's 2.56 p.m. It's about an hour before the regular session close. You can see my computer clock on my right and on my left is the time in sales, the E-mini S&P currently trading at 2701.75. It was a great day for the auto trader. First up is the DAX on the Superenco 14 tick. This is the one with a higher goal of 35.50 and this first made an equity high of about $2,000 and then drew down a little bit here and ultimately came up and hit its goal trading two contracts. Ironically, the other Superenco 14 with the $2,000 goal, slightly different settings, ended up getting stopped out, not for the full stop out, but it got stopped out, slightly different settings. Okay, next is the DAX on a 150 Heiken Ashi chart and pretty good signals on the indicators here. And this got filled on our limit order uh, long and uh, did 2,075 for the day. Our goal on this is 2,100. So obviously we had one tick of slippage per contract. We always use a market order when we hit our daily goal. And sometimes there's positive slippage and sometimes there's not. I'd say it's about 50-50. Okay, next is the NASDAQ on a 1597 Heiken Ashi chart. This started out with a, a small loser here drawing down less than $300 or 150 per contract. And then that was followed by back-to-back -back winning trades, which brought it up to 1635. Our goal on this is 1550, so here we had a pretty nice positive slippage. Okay, next is the NASDAQ on a five-minute chart. And... We saw this yesterday, and quite a few times this this week has done quite well. This uh, started out with a losing trade, but drew down uh, less than five hundred dollars or two fifty per contract. And the reason I mention it that way is to give you an idea of you know how much your loss limit could potentially be. Obviously, if you're only drawing down uh, two fifty per contract, um, your loss limit could be, well, you can't just base it on this one trade. So typically for this market, I would say your loss limit needs to be probably four to 500 per contract. And of course, that depends on the size chart you're trading. The bigger the time frame, the, the more room you're going to have to allow the market to move. The smaller the time frame, the tighter you can have your stops. But in any case, this uh, drew down just not that much and came back with this uh, nice winning trade to recover from minus 400 to plus 1200 so that's a $1,600 swing here and then there was a small loser here it ended up with 1255 for the day the goal on this is 2500 so well shy of its goal but still a respectable performance okay the DAX on a 377 hike in ashy once again note the indicator signals here this really nice long uh, which was actually started yesterday and then spilled over into the next session and then this uh, short trade here. And of course, this only got a portion of it and finished at 1300 or so. And the goal on this is 1550 So not sure if we had um, negative slippage here, but all in all, close enough to the goal to be uh, considered a solid performance on this chart. Okay, next up is the crude oil on a Superenco 7 tick. And this had a mixed bag of trades. It f made a first equity high of between six and seven hundred dollars here, and then uh, ran into some sideways market here and got whipsawed with four losers in a row. And that drew it down just under four hundred dollars, but then it came back with this sensational uh, short trade here, which recovered from a $400 drawdown to a positive 1180 and finished the day there. So uh, pretty uh, impressive recovery on this chart. The goal on this is uh, 1200. So this recovery actually came back and hit its goal for the day. Okay, this is that uh, DAX chart on a Super Inca 6 tick that I'm plotting with a sensitivity of 9. 
And so that means uh, a higher number is less sensitive to the swings. So you can see here how all these swings are contained. There's still blue bars. And our volatility stop is way down here. I actually have the trend indicator plotted here. So I'm going to remove that and clean up the chart a little bit. And so here we can see the, the uh, trend sensitivity as it's being used on the chart here, a lot more cleaner. In any case, I had mentioned in the last video that I was going to tighten the money management and start trailing at 50 ticks. And so I did that at trailing by 35%. Well, apparently that was perhaps a bit too tight because we got stopped out on this little pullback and there was almost twice the distance to go here. Probably would have hit our goal at 3,500 had we gone uh, the distance. But that is uh, a little bit of a challenge to figure out the best stop loss or trailing stops. And the way you do that is just simply try different things. So I'm going to loosen this up a little bit. Um, but this seemed to work pretty well because had I had it the way it was before, we would have got stopped out down here, ending up with about the same result. So I think this can be improved. This was just my first attempt at trying to trail the stop a little tighter, and I can see that I think it needs to be given a little bit more room. I'm really impressed with this chart and this higher sensitivity in that I don't think it's had a losing day since I've been plotting it. And which is only about a week. And so this is, uh, for a six tick chart, it's a pullback of eight ticks and can probably be even more because typically you're gonna get your uh, change in trend and then you get some some wiggle in the market and often a pretty decent uh, pullback uh, to get filled on a limit order. So all in all, very impressed with this chart. This finished at 1,062, but our equity high here was about 2,400. Okay, this is the DAX on a 987 Heike and Ashi chart. It didn't trade today. It obviously didn't get filled on its limit order. But the reason I'm showing it is I just wanted to show how awesome the indicator signals were on this chart, this long starting from yesterday's session, spilling over into today, and just uh, excellent signals on the indicators. The limit fill on this is a pullback of three ticks, but uh, again, uh, it didn't get filled here in you know, keep in mind that it has something to do with the way the Heiken Ashi bars form. Actually, it's because the start time is 9.30, and come 9.30, uh, this is where we didn't get filled on our limit fill, unfortunately. Uh, I need to change this back to the London session. Okay, next up is our E-mini S&P with a Superenco 4-tick chart, and this one here is the template here, and then our uh, goal, and this is 750, so uh, we hit our goal and had one tick of slippage. Okay, the ES on a Super Inco 6 tick. This has a goal of 1350, and trading two contracts here, and looks like we made an equity high of uh, 950 or so, and then ran into some trouble here and finished at 512 for the day. Okay, next up is the NASDAQ on 150 Heike and Ashi chart. And this was pretty busy today. And looking at this, uh, our first equity high was about uh, over $1,000. And then we basically had a lot of trades and a second equity high, but then only to finish uh, lower. And so some observations about a chart like this is probably better to have a lower goal on uh, 150 Heike and Ashi chart on the NASDAQ is actually pretty small considering the volume. Uh, with a tick chart uh, in a market with good volume, you're going to have a lot of swings if it's a smaller chart. So uh, the goal on this is 2100. I think that should be reduced to about half or say a thousand, a round number of thousand or so would be more suitable. Had we done that, we would have been done trading here in just a few trades and saved a whole lot on commissions and a whole lot of nail biting uh, through all this action. Okay, next up is our very reliable e mini S&P on just a regular five Renko chart. This is the one with the $800 goal. And this 
uh, obviously hit his goal and had one tick of slippage. Okay, the crude oil on a Superenco 8 tick was all over the place today, but finished positive with a gain of about 300. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching today.